Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. Tonight we are doing a little bit of a budget bourbon skirmish. That's right. We ditched the expensive stuff and went straight to the cheapy McCheaper tin stuff of Cheapville, USA. Two regular budget bourbons tonight go head to head. But then, twist, what? A third bourbon? A third bourbon in the bourbon skirmish? It's a triple threat bourbon skirmish. Evan Williams, bottled and bond. My favorite bourbon, Tejeda, Tejeda on, takes on its cousin from the same distillery. Fighting cock. Fighting cock, Kentucky Stray Bourbon Whiskey versus the limited edition Jim Beam Old Friggin' Tub. It's a triple threat bourbon skirmish and we're gonna do it. We're gonna friggin' get down to it. Buckle up, almond butter cup bitches. It's bourbon skirmish time. Let's do it. Evan Williams bottled and bond. It's going in glass A because it is a disgusting bourbon. It's not my favorite. It's just not. Old Tub America is going in B. And Fighting Cock, the 103 proof kick and chicken from Heaven Hill is going in C because it contains razor blades on its talons, on its feet. Yeah. <laughs> Glass number one. Pretty light on the nose. A little astringency, a little corn. Oh, there we go. Oh, Skittles. You know when you take a pack of the red Skittles and you tear off the corner of them and you just go and you pour about a third of the package in your mouth and you just crunch them up. It doesn't smell like one Skittle, it smells like all the Skittles crunched up into a big, big Skittle ball. Oh, now some nuts, some honey roasted peanuts. So it's got a candy sweetness and some peanuts to it. That's interesting. Actually a pretty enjoyable nose, not a bad nose at all. It is an over-salted honey roasted peanut, um, kind of zigzags. The palate started off pretty unaggressive, pretty soft, and then towards mid-palate, it just kind of got spiky and nutty, and a little bit briny, and a little bit of like that sweet salt that you get on a honey roasted peanut. And that's kind of how it finished too, with a little bit of spice. Not a terrible dram. Not a terrible dram. Am I in love with it? No. Whoa. It's pretty nuts. Like a pay, like a payday candy bar is kind of what I'm getting here. A payday candy bar. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the ones with all the nuts, right? On the outside. Glass number two. Oh, it's a little friendlier nose. Little oak, little cherry, like a cheap red licorice. Oak, cherry, cheap red licorice. If you just smelled inside the box of Good and Plenty's, you don't get the black licorice until you eat it, but you get like the candy shell of a licorice, of a black licorice. On the, it's, it's not black licorice, it's, the, it's like somebody tried to cover up the smell of black licorice. Like it was a like it was a crime scene because it basically is. Black licorice is basically basically the the death candy because it tastes like death, pure death. A little corn starting to pop through. It's to be expected. None of these are super aged. Obviously, Old Tub and Evan Williams are aged for a minimum of four years, right? Fighting Cock used to be aged for six years, but they took the age statement off. So what is it now? I don't know. And these are all around the same proof. 100 proof for the bottle of Bond Evan Williams. 100 proof 
for the bottle and bottle tub and 103 proof for the fighting cock, the kicking Nick Chicken, the razor blade wearing, mohawk sporting, roostery son of a bitch. Man, the nuttiness is real in this flight. But this wasn't like, man, I'm gonna say this. If you're into nuttiness, whatever's in this glass is very, very pleasing because it coats the mouth well. It finishes really well, but it's a real smooth ride. Like a Peter Pan peanut butter that's been open for way longer than it should be. And then it just kind of rides smoothly all the way back on down a good heat a good heat to it a good mouth coating a good finish number three numero three weirdly enough this is a little bit floral now it's starting to sweeten up there's like a little bit of um maybe like black tea on here yeah a little like a honeyed tea Getting some barrel char on there. Getting those T notes are kind of transferring from the nose to the palate. Oh, then I go to the nose and now I'm getting nuttiness on the nose. Interesting. Interesting, Porter. Interesting. Get a little bit of a grassy note now on number two. A little grassy. A little sassy. A little grassy. Here's the problem. I despise Evan Williams bottled and bond. And I don't know which one that it is. So crap. After oh, Wow. After careful oh, There's the water. After careful deliberation and a lot of going back and forth, A being and seeing. I have come to a conclusion. First conclusion, I have my order. I know which one I like least to best. Second conclusion, not a huge fan of any of these. In third place, class number one came in third place. And class number one belongs to letter C. Shit. That's fighting cock. God damn it. Oh, there goes this. There goes this video already. In second place is glass two, which is please be Evan Williams bottle the bond. If Evan Williams bottle the bond wins, I have to eat a whole cow. Oh boy. Second place number two. Second place is A, which is. Evan Williams bottle of bond. So that means the winner in the competition actually was old tub. I'm gonna be 100% honest here. None of these three are gonna change your life. These are all what I would consider to be, um, if you're gonna sip something neat, these are pretty much the bottom of the, the bottom of the neat sipping food chain. You don't wanna, you don't wanna sip anything worse than, than these. But, I mean, they're sippable. They're fine. They're, they may make you cringe a little bit. But then again, it's whiskey. And whiskey should make people cringe, even if they're seasoned whiskey drinkers. A little bit. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. This was a three-way bourbon skirmish of budget bourbons with a lot of nuts involved. So, like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind, I'm not always drinking the best stuff on the planet. But I would say that Fighting Cock is still better than Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, hands down, even though Evan Williams Bottled and Bond beat it in a blind flight. Idiot. <laughs>